Uh, with me is Laurie Hooper, and uh, we're talking about the Supermanx weekend. It sounds like some sort of superheroes event. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, this is something that's been on the cards to to allow for the senior race day, wasn't it? That yeah. that, that movement of the the bank holiday. And, and the government's come up with some ideas, the public sector and also the private sector have also come up with some ideas. But you, yeah. you, you know, from the government side, what are you going to do for this? Make us all so spend money locally? Is that the plan? Well, you, you can hit it on the head. You said it's kind of like superheroes. And in some ways it is, actually. Really, the whole idea behind the Supermanx Bank Holiday was to say thank you uh, to all those key workers that actually put in the hours that were keeping everything going You know, throughout the whole coronavirus closure period. So throughout that, you had people in retail, you had people in supermarkets, you had your nurses, your doctors. Everyone was, was piling in and working hard. And actually, part of the logic of doing a weekend like this is to say thank you to all those people that did put in the extra hours and go above and beyond throughout that whole period. And of course, the UK has been doing this thing without eating out and that sort of thing, getting money in the economy. Yeah. Is, is this so part yeah, of the so, plan? so that's part of the, that's part of it as well. So as well as I mean, there are some specific events. There'll be like a there's a, a parade I think to say thank you very specifically. Um, but the, as well as as well as doing some of those events, actually part of the plan is to also try and encourage people to say, look, go out and enjoy the island a bit. Mm -hmm. You know, go out and and enjoy. Maybe go to Laxey if you don't go there very often. If you don't go to Castletown too often, go down. They've got a music festival on this weekend. Rams yeah. is doing a family fun day in the park. You know, if you if you don't normally go to these places, go out and actually explore the island a bit. And as you do it that take a moment to have a think about well actually how important it is that we have a lot of local businesses independent businesses how important it is that we do buy local when we spend money and actually just take a moment to reflect on how how we all have a role in that really and but get out there and actually enjoy yourselves is the main message from the weekend and as you're enjoying yourselves please help support local businesses and buy local it's all calmed down a bit because when it's all announced there's a lot of people for it against it or, or yeah. that, whatever and some people can't get it anyway I mean they, they just don't have that and businesses probably maybe in two minds about how this all going to work for mm. them I mean, is there a you know, definite thing this is going to help, or are we just, just well, you, seeing you, what happens? You hope, I suppose. So it, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment in, in terms of economic recovery planning, so there's a lot of work going on to try and say how do we help get, get our whole economy really to recover from, from the damage that coronavirus has done. Uh, and a small part of that really is saying, well, how do we encourage people to get out there and, and buy local and spend mm -hmm. local and actually enjoy the Isle of Man a bit more? I mean, we're very, other than going to Guernsey at the moment, there isn't really very far you can go from the Isle of Man. So actually, if you are here, let's let's get out and actually have a bit of a holiday on the Isle of Man. You know, go go have a staycation or go and enjoy something local that maybe you wouldn't normally have done. So it isn't it isn't uh, the panacea. It's not going to solve all of our problems, but maybe it is a step in the right direction. And if we can encourage people to to think a bit more about where they're buying their products from and which businesses they're supporting, maybe actually longer term we can have a bit of an impact on on that whole support local, buy local culture. And to push the private sector, the, the guys who do the t-shirts, the mugs, they're, they're in the right place. They've got the super mics. Did you see them? The t-shirts. No, yeah, they're some down on the t-shirt place. Right. They've been pushing that as part of this sort of thing. I, I, finally, I guess, um, the weather. Have you been keeping on the weather this weekend? It, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, with all the things Too we can really. do as government, we can't control the weather. Um, so it does look like it's going to be a bit of a mixed picture, but I suppose we'll do what we always do on the Isle of Man and we'll make the best of it. Mm. And, and when you've got this, uh, this concert, that's great, isn't it? Because everyone's been suffering from that lack of events and yeah. things like that to go to. Yeah, so I think that's part of, the, part of the, the idea as well, is to give people some of these experiences, some of these events, because there hasn't been a lot going on during lockdown for obvious reasons, but it's trying to restart the island, I think, and say, look, let's get out there and enjoy ourselves. I'm sure you're delighted to send people to Ramsey. Absolutely, yes. The more people we get in Ramsey on the fun day on Monday will be absolutely fantastic. So.